There are the standings right there. In the American League, the Cleveland Indians and the A's are tied at three apiece, three games apiece. In the National League, the Reds and the Giants, us, are tied at three games apiece. Man, that means that these are some well-matched teams. We have to win this if we want to go to the World Series. Win and we're in, lose and we go home. We are home, but we're done. We have never been ahead of the Reds in this series. We have either been behind them when it comes to the series score, not the game score, or we've been tied. So we gotta break that pattern if we wanna move forward. Game seven. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to our exclusive postseason coverage on MLB Network. Man, look at that back and forth, back and forth. Last game, the team really stepped up. We need that again, especially from our bullpen. The game, two of the, the last two games we lost were because the bullpen blew it at the end of the game. Game seven. This is so cool. <laughs> Go Giants! Ready to erupt as their guys get set to take the field. Let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now, your 2017 San Francisco Giants! That's right, boys! We forced a Game 7. Hopefully we can win at home. Winning game seven at home would be amazing. The two starters will get the ball here in this one. This is why I wish they would sometimes show the regular season stats so we could see what the hell Cornell did during the season. A moment here to take a look at the Cincinnati Reds starting lineup in this one. HR, how do they fight off elimination here on the road? Key to me is, is driving in runs. Their runners in scoring position, they've been really struggling. Ah, they moved I mean, Frazier down, down in the lineup. That that Hopefully that'll that help us out. Two outs, hit the ground ball, drive him in. Just a little thing. The less it bats for Frazier, the better. Inning by inning, before you know it, you put together a good game. That's what Linsa comes good. pitching for us, though, and he's been yes, very streaky this year. The league championship series. What's your take on him, H? Well, Matt, last game he pitched six full innings. He looked like he had good stuff. He didn't get a decision, but he gave his team a chance to be in the ball game. I look for a similar performance in this We game. need that again? Right, I'm not even going to look at first base. La, 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 la. I forget how to read. <laughs> Tug did come to the plate, having a great National League Championship Series and a great postseason. He had, I think, 17 home runs in the regular season. And I think he's hit four home runs already in the... Just the NLCS. It's too bad he couldn't have had that during the regular season, that kind of pace. One out, runner on second. Bottom of the first. Here's the first pitch to him. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. So let's take a peek at the umpiring crew working this one. Behind the plate is Eric Summersgill. Now Summersgill's tough to Is that the name out. of a he douche? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if Tug Dick asked him that. He's like, you're the douche, Tug Dick. He'll call one side of the plate and not the other. When you figure out what side he's calling, that's where you make your living. 0 2 count. Quickly down 0 2, unfortunately. The 0 2 home. Oh, swing and a miss. Damn it. Come on, Moss. Come on, Ace. Please win. I want that Battle of the Bays. That would be so cool. I mean, it would still be fun to play Cleveland. And more importantly, hopefully we make it. Interesting. Bay teams playing teams that have the letter C as their logo. Striding in, Zach Kozart. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in... Oh, no. Top of the second. Like you said, two outs, but runners on first and second. Skied in the air to straight away Come on, Tug Dick, you got to catch that. You got to strand those dudes. Yes. Trying to help out our boy Lindsay come. A couple of walks, but no damage. Through an inning and a half, no score on MLB Network. If we had to play a game seven anywhere, this is where we'd want to play it. Here's Billy Hamilton standing in. Oh, for one for him here in this one. Third inning, no Top of the third, one out, nobody on. And unfortunately, we have no we have no runs. 
Tag game. Oh, look at that tug dick. That's some baseball intuition right there. He's like, Wolverine, catch my balls. We're in the playoffs. He's like, tell me that every game. Digging in for his second at bat. Tug dick. Oh, for one here in the early going. Runner on second, two outs. Bottom of the third. Here's the first pitch to him. There's a swing. I don't know if he's going to carry enough, but I hope so. Oh, that is so frustrating. Warning track power. If we would have just had a little wind blowing, it would have been gone. A little wind blowing out. Like the edge of the warning track. Tug Dick 0 for 2. We're up 1-0, though. Runner on first. One out. Why couldn't have the wind been blowing out? Oh, a one-run lead is better than nothing. And this is high, a ball and a strike. He's obviously been very impressive on the mound in this one. And I think the big reason why is his ability to stay out of the middle of the zone. That's kind of obvious, but it's clear to me that even when he misses his spots, he's not missing over the plate. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Now we got a piece of it. Tough play for Cozart. Yes! Got the hit. Advance the runner. Speed kills, man. Yeah, Tuckjick does have... Doesn't he have a hit in every postseason game he's played in this year? All right, Moss, it's all you. Runners in first to second. One out. Bottom of the fifth. Here's the first baseman, Brandon Moss. You would think just statistically, sooner or later he'd accidentally do something really good. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game, and now the Reds are going to get the bullpen moving here, and it's a lefty and a right-handed up and throwing. Hit hard on the ground at first. And no, he hits into a double play. for one on to first, but no, he didn't. All right, fielder's choice. Also there by the base runner. That looked like an easy inning ending double play. Now yeah, I thought he'd screw the pooch there. With two outs. Well, hopefully that means somebody, uh, I think Posey was up next. Hopefully that means they get some runs in. Doug Dick coming up one for three. Please tell me we have a bigger lead than before. Nope. Nobody got home. Bottom of the seventh. Man on first. One out. Do not throw him out. That is and not cool, bro. You see, though, by looking at the flags, the wind is absolutely dead here, which is very rare. Usually the wind's coming in off the bay. Once in a great while, we're and lucky and it's blown out. And they get him thrown out. Him. Fuck. Decisions like Come on, Jay, what are you thinking? Knowing who you've got at the plate. This guy can put one over the fence, no problem. So that wasn't very smart. We're in a very scary situation, though. With only a one run lead. Now the pitch. Swing and a Fuck your changeup. Obviously, Tug Dick was looking for the speedy balls right there, a fastball. When you're facing a good hitter like this, that first pitch, strike one, is so important as to who's going to control this at bat. Right now, pitcher's got the advantage. 1 1 count. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Yeah, right, right there. Right in the gap. What are you looking at, Vado? So the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two out base hit. Looked like he was sitting on the hard stuff right there. Stayed right on it. Stayed with it. Hard line drive. Great game plan. Yeah, we see a lefty and a right hander start to lose. Come on, Moss. Do something, you shit. <laughs> You gotta encourage your team, I remember. He did have a home run, apparently. Apparently, usually when he wants to hit home runs, it's nobody's on. I guess there's too much pressure when somebody's on? I don't know. Safe! Speed Demon getting another steal. And that's exactly the case here. They had the speed burner on the move, and it worked out nicely for him. Just got to drive him in now. 
Keep We're going for third. Pitch inside the now you better not fuck up Moss like every other time. All he needs is a single. It doesn't even have to be a fantastic looking one. Exactly the typical steal situation with two outs and a runner on second. I can't say I agree with the strategy, but at the same time, now what's to disagree with? Success is what matters. Game seven, we're playing to win. He set and the two-one pitch. Up uh, three one above the zone for a ball. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys. So we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. We're only playing the seven innings, right? <laughs> Ready on three and one. Here's the pitch. They walk him. All right, runners on the corners. I don't know why Posey's not next. I think Jay's up. No, Posey's up. Okay, I was looking at it wrong. So far, but his guys are looking for Buster Posey having a rough game. That's that means he's due, right? This is moment to shine. You're like silverware. Put some silverware shine around you and shine. Tug Dick's not very good at inspirational sayings. Two outs, runners on the corners, bottom of the seventh. We're up one zero. Ball in there for a called strike after the walk and with runners on the bags he couldn't afford to fall behind here nice McLean head. You better watch out for Hans Gruber there bro I'm set with the 0 and 1 and this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0 and 2 now uh oh come on Posey you can battle back. The 0 2 home. Again, he sends it out of play. Well, when you're hitting with two strikes, you're just in battle mode. Right there, he gets a breaking ball. He just fouled it off. Got a piece of it and stays alive. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Well, that's it's good he's foul. making him throw a bunch of pitches and he's battling. Play. What we need, though, is a hit. But hopefully, this is now the process to get it. Two. Line towards center field. Oh, nope. Hamilton is there and he that is disappointing, leaving two guys stranded. We only have a one-run lead. We've seen that disappear very quickly, multiple times in this series. We've got two innings to go. Tug Dick, two for four. Tied ball game, two outs, bottom of the ninth. Oh, man. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. That's all right. That wasn't Tug Dick's pitch. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. A slider that Man. moves out over the outside corner. That's good pitching by the uh, pitcher. Work fast, to stay aggressive, and quickly down 0-2. Man, you get great results. Two quick outs, and now he's 0-2 on this hitter. Two out, nobody on. Don't you don't you shake your head yes at me. He's like it's for the catcher. No. Come on, get through the middle. Go, go, go. Alright, trying to win this in the bottom of the ninth with two outs. You know, it's not off the guy. We gotta win this or we're done. Gets a base hit and the pitcher still feels like 0 and 2, I gotta battle. But that was the case here as he battled back, got a hit down 0 2. Alright, Moss. Oh, I can't believe it's in Moss's hands. Into the box, Brandon Moss. And a pitch out, nothing doing. Yeah, I don't blame them for being afraid. Of us stealing. In fact, we're probably going to try and steal second here in a moment. Possible winning quit, run stands at first. Quit showing off, hours. Moss. Just hit the damn ball. I'm amazed. Safe though. Bad throw. Two pitch outs in a row. That's crazy. I wonder if they'll walk him now because, you know, it's bottom of the ninth and one run wins us the game. He has lightning speed and was able to take the bag anyways. 
Two balls. Now the 2 0. Grounded softly to the right. Motto is right there. On to the bag with it. And, and Moss fails oh, like always. So they can't get that win. No, we're going into the 10th inning. Extra innings here. I can't believe Moss. Why do you put him in Bochi? He's played like crap in the postseason and the regular season. Here's the shortstop, Zach Kozar. He's hitless two. in three at bats Zach to this Kozart. point. Tied ball game, one out. Top of the tenth. And now pitch on the way. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Dick is under it. Two down. All right, we need one more out. Try to get it to the bottom of the tenth. Give us a chance to win this thing. We win! We win it in the, I think, the bottom of the 10th. Oh, my God. Thank God we have won. I would have been a little cooler if we could have seen the exact end. Lincecum pitched an amazing game. I can't believe we win game seven. It's got to be rough for Cincinnati. Yeah, Lincecum deserves to be player of the game. Strong innings from him. Really showed a lot of this one. National League champions. Zach and our entire crew. This is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching the National League Championship Series. Give me that pennant. <laughs> that is a great way. Well, I'd say to end the postseason, but postseason's not done. We're still alive. We're going to go play in the World Series. Look at that. Tug Dick, three for five. Oh, we want it in the bottom of the 11th. In fact, can I look at the um, box score? Is that what I'm looking for? I don't think that's what I meant to do. All right, so the game log. Okay, Giants. Dozier doubled the center. One hit, two walks. Man, that was awesome. I can't believe it. We win. Awesome sauce. I got worried that Tug Dick had a great game. Wow. I, I just don't have any other words than that. I was worried we were going to go out earlier. We win. We keep it alive. I hope the A's won. I want that Battle of the Bay World Series. If not, Cleveland's a pretty cool team to play, too. The Giants have won the National League Championship Series. And will be taking on, well, the A's of the Indians. Let's find out which. Uh, I think we can just advance today. We'll be playing the Indians. Oh, man. I wanted to play the A's, but unfortunately, the A's lost. But either way, we take on the Cleveland Indians in the World Series, and that starts next episode. Pretty cool. Four games away from being champions, if things go right. Take it easy, everybody. Well, we already are champions. We're actually champions. You know what I meant, World Series champions.